हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न ऑटोमेटिक चेंज ओवर स्विच वायरिंग एंड वर्किंग सो लेट स्टार्ट एंड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वर्किंग ऑफ ऑटोमेटिक चेंज ओवर स्विच इन दिस चेंज ओवर वी हैव टू पावर सप्लाई फर्स्ट इज मेन पावर सप्लाई एंड सेकंड इज जनरेटर पावर सप्लाई फर्स्ट लर्न हाउ इट वर्क आफ्टर डेट लर्न कंप्लीट कनेक्शन ओके वेन मेन पावर सप्लाई ऑन Our load run on main power supply. At this time, if generator power supply on, our load run only on main power supply. Let's see. Now, when main power supply cut, then our load automatically transfer to generator power supply. Okay. When main power supply off, our load transfer to generator power supply. Now, if main power supply comes, so we connect to one timer. So after delay time. After delay time, our load will run. Okay, so it's a simple working of automatic change over switch. When main power supply on, our load always run on main power supply. If main power supply cut, so our load run on generator power supply. And again, if main power supply come, so after delay time of timer, our load run on main power supply. Okay, so first our load only on main power supply. Okay, it is a simple working of automatic change over switch. Now first understand. For this connection, which components is required? In this automatic change over switch, we have two MCB. First is main MCB, second is generator MCB. We connect one relay for main power supply. When main power supply on, main relay on, and if main relay on, then main contactor on. Okay, this contactor for main power supply, and this MCB for generator power supply. If main power supply off condition okay if main power supply off condition generator relay operate okay generator relay operate and main power supply off condition so this contactor generator contactor operate and load will run on main power supply okay in this change over we connect to one timer first understand function of this timer after that learn complete connection okay so this timer is connected for only main power supply first understand working when main power supply cut our load run on generator power supply okay and if main power supply comes so we can set delay time on this timer if we set 2 second okay so if main power supply come so after 2 second delay or 5 second delay as you set in this timer so after delay time your main power supply is on now why we set this delay time okay sometime our main power supply off and comes again in 1 second or 2 second due to malfunctioning or any of the reason okay so if our main power supply off our load run on generator power supply okay now load running on generator power supply at this time our main supply comes in 1 second or 2 second okay so our relay automatically on and load should run on main power supply okay So for safety reason, we connected this timer. Okay, if our main power supply cut, so generator power supply on, and again if our main supply comes, so after delay time, our load run on main power supply. So this timer is just connected for safety purpose. Okay, if main power supply cut and comes again, so after delay time, your load will start. Okay, so this timer is only for safety purpose. So in this video, we will learn all connection with drawing and practically wire by wire. So please watch all connection carefully. Should not miss any of the connection. For this connection, we use eleven pin two twenty volt glass relay. Okay. First understand 11 pin glass relay terminal function in 11 pin glass relay 2 and 10 point for coil in which we need to provide phase and neutral one point is common and 1 to 4 is nc point and 1 to 3 is a no point okay and also 11 point is common point when relay is stop condition so 11 supply comes to the at nc point and if relay operate then 11 supply goes to the no point and 9 number point okay also we have six number point is common point five is nc point and seven is no point okay it is very simple terminal connection of 11 pin glass relay you can also use 8 pin or 14 pin glass relay as you have 
and in this timer this timer is stands electronic timer you can use any of the on delay timer okay you can use any of the on delay timer first understand terminal of this timer so in this timer we need to provide phase and neutral to a1 and a2 okay a1 and a2 is a coil okay in this timer two number point is common point okay two is common you can see here two is common one is nc okay if you said five second so for five second two supply comes to the one and after completing five second two supply comes to the three point or no point so three is no point okay in this we have two indicator first is power indicator if your timer power comes so first indicator glows if your timer operate so second indicator glows okay in this timer we have two indicators also okay you can use any of the on delay timer it depends on you in this timer we set two second delay time okay we setting two second delay time for main power supply okay when main power supply on so after two second delay our load run on main power supply now understand connection first when main power supply comes phase and neutral connect to the relay two and ten number point relay coil okay you can see here two and ten number point when main power supply on our relay operate so phase connect to the 10 number point and neutral connect to the two number point okay when main power supply on main relay on now connect a neutral point to two number point same connection for generator supply okay when generator supply on generator relay on okay we connect a phase connector here now we connect a phase connector to, to 10 number and neutral to 2 number okay now we use a no and common point 10 you can see here 11 is common and 9 is a no okay when relay operate then 11 supply goes to the a no 9 number point so we connect to one connector from 10 to 11 common number point okay now connect a phase connector to common now when relay on main power supply on so relay on when relay on then this phase wire comes to the nine number point and operate timer okay so we connect to one connector from nine number point a no point and operate timer okay when relay operate timer also operate okay now we connect to one connector from coil a1 to common point to number point you can see here two is a common point okay so we connect to one connector from coil to common point okay when relay operate timer operate when timer operate coil supply comes to the common point to number point okay now for operating timer we need to connect a neutral so we connect a neutral of main power supply to the timer a2 point so connect a neutral wire here and connect timer a2 point now timer also operate now we set two second delay time you can set any of the time as you desired okay now after timer delay time your common supply comes to the timer a no three number point okay so after delay time this three number supply comes and operate main contactor but before operating main contactor we are doing interlocking connection because at a time only one contactor can operate main contactor or generator contactor so we using generator contactor nc terminal for interlocking okay and output of nc terminal operate main contactor coil a2 okay now when main power supply on relay on when relay on timer on timer on so on main contactor on and load also on it is a simple working of main power supply okay now if main power supply off then our generator power supply will on so now understand working of generator power supply okay now when generator power supply on generator relay on okay now we connect to one connector from common to ano as we done in main power supply so we connect to one connector from 10 number coil to 11 number common point okay 
Now, when relay on, generator supply on, so relay on. If relay on, then this NO supply, 9 number NO supply comes here and we connect main power supply common and NC point. Okay, first C terminal. Now, we connect common, one number is common and four number is NC. Okay, when main power supply relay is in stop condition, then this supply pass. Okay, so generator supply only pass when main power supply stop. It is a simple function. Okay, generator supply only pass when main power supply stop. Okay, so output of NC four number point connect main contactor NC terminal and output of NC of main contactor because we doing interlocking and output of NC connect generator contactor A to coil or coil okay now our phase control wiring is completed now we need to connect neutral to contactor A1 point okay so for main power supply contactor we need to connect a neutral of only main power supply okay so we connect a main power supply neutral here and connect main contactor a1 terminal okay now for generator power supply we connect a generator neutral to generator contactor simple concept now when main power supply on our load run on main supply now for power wiring okay we connect a phase and neutral here and connect contactor l1 and l2 terminal for power wiring you can connect upper side of contactor as you desired okay and for generator power supply we connect a phase and neutral and connect a contactor l1 and l2 terminal and output of generator phase to loop with main supply phase and connect to the load simple concept now neutral also loop from main supply and load when any of the power supply on our load will run simple concept now understand working of this automatic changeover switch when main power supply on this relay on when this relay on timer also on and after delay time completing our main contactor also operate doing interlocking with generator contactor simple concept okay after delaying time supply pass here and goes to the generator contactor nc terminal and output of generator contactor nc connect to the main contactor in coil point and when main contactor operate load run on main power supply okay when main power supply of generator power supply on now when generator power supply on this main power supply relay off and timer also off condition okay when main generator power supply on this relay on okay this relay on then this relay in O point nine number point supply pass and this relay we use ANC point okay when main power supply relay stop condition ANC power supply on and connect to the main contactor NC for interlocking and operate main contactor simple concept now if main power supply on so main relay on if main relay on then this NC makes you know and generator supply cuts here by operating this relay okay when this relay on timer also on after delay time in which we set in this timer after delay time our main contactor operate and this process runs continually okay now it is a very simple operation now let's see how it works okay now when main power supply on after delay time okay two second our load run on this main power supply okay now same time if generator power supply on so generator relay operate but loads run only main power supply when main power supply cut so load automatically run on generator power supply okay now if main power supply comes if main power supply comes so first this timer operate and after delay time our load run on main power supply it is very simple operation of automatic changeover switch okay if generator power supply cuts so our load only run on main power supply 
so load faster than on main power supply only load run on generator power supply if our main power supply in a stop condition so hope you clear the concept of automatic changeover switch hope you like this video if you like this video please press like button if you have any doubt please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching